All right, guys, we need to talk about AI. Now, this product has completely revolutionized the way I work. And when it comes to photo retouching, is that's just one of those things that I just don't like doing. Um, I find more value in my business and being out there networking with my clients and being a part of the community. I'd rather be doing a YouTube video than retouching. But when a tool comes along that makes this process so simple, it's hard not to go back and start messing around with things again. Now, for the last three years, I've been working uh, with retouchers. I completely outsourced my retouching because I felt that my business had more value in actually, uh, again, in being out there in networking and building relationships and community as opposed to being here retouching uh and so i've i've worked with a retoucher for about yeah about two three years now as of the last couple of months i ran across this tool uh that i actually downloaded and i i i purchased it and i've been using and man i was mind blown so much so that i decided to reach out to them and ask them if they want to sponsor this video. And so as such, this video is sponsored by Evato. And so I'm gonna be showing you guys how I'm using this tool specifically for retouching my work and how you can use it too and uh, for the cost of pennies, literally pennies. So let's, let's dive into the money part of things because I think this is important, especially if you're outsourcing your retouching. On average, a uh, retouch image, depending on how intricate it might be, could run you anywhere from $5 to about $20. I've paid as much as $150 for a retouch, and on average, though, I pay about $15 for a retouch. Um, other images can run like $10, for example. But when you're dealing with a client where you have to deliver say 30 images well that's on average if you're paying about ten dollars that's three hundred dollars out of your cost or your profit and so um when you compare it to a tool like evato where it's actually pennies on the dollar and i think the price is about three cents an image um it's hard to look the other way especially when it's this good and so one of the things that I want to start by mentioning is Evato is based on credits. And so for you to start using it, um, you actually have to purchase credits from them. And again, it's on average about three cents per credit and one credit is one export. So you don't get charged for the image until you export it. And so what that means is you can make as many adjustments as you want and export it and that's when you get credit now here's where it actually gets really interesting evato is referencing your source file and so if you, let's say you you import and then you make your adjustments and then you export if you have to go back to evato and make changes so long as the reference image doesn't move location you can export make as many adjustments and evato won't charge you for that export. Um, it's only if you are working with, or if you move that file to another location, or if you're working on another file, then obviously it's a whole nother image. But that really starts to get interesting because now I can actually do these uh, retouch uh, images, send them to my clients, and if they want any adjustments, then I don't have to spend more money. And that's great. So let's let's quickly look into Evato and see how I'm using it. Let's hop into the computer. And so here on the computer, I actually have uh, a session from my friend Delara, who we shot. You probably saw the video on the YouTube channel. And so I'm going to start by showing you guys how to import into Evato. Um, I already have a couple of images imported, uh, different lighting scenarios, but these I wanted to show you how simple it is to import. And to, to import, basically, you notice how I'm working with the raw files. Now, Evato does support raw files, and it supports JPEG, and it does support TIFF. It does not support Photoshop, and that's okay. So 
to import these images, I'm going to highlight them both and I'm just going to drag them and drop them into Avado. So let's quickly talk about what happens. Avado references the images from where they live and it brings them in here and then it's going to create its adjustments and then export a new version of the image. So which means it's non-destructive. Um, so again, if I have to make any adi additional adjustments to this image, I don't have to export, or sorry, and I have to export again, I don't have to pay for that credit again. And that's great. So this image at starters, uh, I can tell it's a little bit underexposed. I tend to shoot uh, a little bit underexposed when outdoors. And so as such, you'll see that here. But let's let's get the fun going, man. This, this, this is too cool now too. So on the left side here, you have presets. And Evado has done a great job of putting a whole swirl of presets that you're welcome to try out on all your images. My favorite one though, however, is the high-end retouch. So that's the one we're gonna to apply to this image. And then one click, boom. Okay, now what happened here, let's take a look for a before and after. And to do a before and after, you just click the space bar. Let's take a look. Look at this image, one click, one click, and you're getting these results, guys. Like that's just impressive. Uh, but one click, man, look, look what I got now. It's still a little bit underexposed. So I'm going to come over here to the color adjustment tab and I'm going to increase the exposure just a tad bit. And I'm going to go back to the retouch and bam, I mean, before and after look at this image before and after let's go into full body before and after. Okay. I mean, can we do this? Absolutely. But this, this tool is doing a great job. Why, why go anywhere else? Uh, let's make a couple adjustments. Now, before I started recording this video, there's a couple updates. And that's one of the things I want to mention. These guys, Avado team does a phenomenal job at updating the software. I mean, just about every time I update it, there's a new feature added or something enhanced. So they're constantly developing new algorithms to work with different types of images. And I think that's great. Every time you launch it, anything that is new that just was added, you'll see it here new. And so just recently they did the hair. And I think this might be a great image for fixing hair. And so what is the process of fixing hair before Avado? What did it look like to me? Well, it's frequency separation, it takes a couple of minutes uh, per image. And, uh, you know, you can accomplish great results. I use frequency separation for a lot of my work. And uh, for these kind of stray hairs, if you look here around this area, um, you know, frequency separation will do the job. However, there is a bottle and that's what we're going to look at. So let's look at remove stray hairs. It's in beta, but let's look at remove hairs. And I'm just going to grab this slider and move it all the way to the right. And let's look at what happens here. Oh, wow. Holy cow. Did you see? Let me, let's do that again. Let's do that again because guys, look at, look at these hairs. I mean, practically gone. I mean, with the exception of this one, right? But look at all this hair that was just removed and everything was left intact. I mean, are you kidding me? This is, this is awesome. All right. Let's, let's look here because when you zoom out this, area here starts to look a little distracting and um uh, i think these guys might have a way to fix that and so hair gaps let's look at what hair gaps does so i'm gonna just go 100 on this all out completely got rid of it but that looks a little abnormal so i'm gonna dial it down i do want to see a little bit of separation a little bit of skin on that okay but now that looks a little bit more subtle. And, and so like if we do before and after, if you look at what happened, right? It, it not only darkened that area, but it actually brought in the hairs a little bit closer. And that's, that's pretty amazing, man. <laughs> like this thing is on fire. All right, so we'll put that here about 63%. Um, and then, man, I mean, in this image, what, what else? What else could we do? I mean, quite frankly, I would 
I would be happy with sending this image over. Maybe increase the shadows a little bit if you want, you know. And let's bring this back down. And I mean, one click retouch, right? I picked the preset, their preset. I made a couple adjustments based on my likings. I can't think of what else there is, but there's a couple other images here, right? So let's talk about how this image was shot because it may help with the other images. I am primarily a direct light shooter. I like hard light, I like direct light. And so because those are primarily the conditions that I work with, it's safe to say that so long as I keep shooting in those conditions, any preset that I'm creating here should, should apply to a multitude of images. And so that's what we're gonna try. So to create a preset, I'm gonna to go to my presets here and I'm gonna save here on the right side, uh, where it says save preset. I'm gonna just save that and I'm gonna name it to, um, we'll say Marco Direct Light, okay? Um, I like to name my presets based on the lighting conditions. I find that um, not all presets are equal. Uh, you know, there's a lot of presets being created out there based on you know backlight uh, and that's completely fine but you can't really expect to use a preset that was created for backlighting scenarios on a front lit image it's just not going to work so i like to create presets based on uh the lighting conditions i'll name them um, so this one's just direct light but um, a couple of things that are happening here you can see what is what Evado is going to include as part of this preset. Now, one of the things I did mess around with was um, maybe white balance, and I'm just gonna make sure that white balance is unchecked. And the reason why is because um, white balance could change based on images. Um, obviously in, in this series, right, it wouldn't have changed, I would have set my white White, white balance. Um, but if you don't want to include your white balance, um, you can just uncheck it. I'll just leave it on check for the purposes of this. Um, and I'm going to hit save. Okay. So now if you look here is my preset that I created for this image. And then I can actually now go to the next image and check this out. I'll just click on that preset. And boom. Same thing, look at the hair gap. Remember that hair gap? Look at the stray hairs. Holy smokes, are you kidding me? Look at the stray hairs. It's getting rid of the stray hairs here, stray hairs here. One click, I created a preset, and this is an AI-based preset, okay? So AI is going into the image, is analyzing the stuff that I want changed or fixed or adjusted, and then it looks at the next image and it does this algorithm and then applies the changes based on its AI findings. I mean, mind blown. This is this is some next level ish right here. Um, guys, one click image, right? But if you are not into presets, let's go ahead and reset that, right? Let's say you don't wanna create presets. Here's another way you can do it. I can highlight the one image, highlight the next image and hit sync. And then it's gonna go ahead and sync all of the changes that I have from this image to this image and give it a little bit and boom, there it is. Now, um, I noticed that this one's looking a little hotter than the other one, uh, the exposure. So I'm just gonna bring down the exposure just a little bit, okay? And then I'll bring this back down and there it is. Guys, this is one click retouch. I mean, like I said, it's not, it's not gonna replace my retoucher. Um, she's phenomenal. Um, but, but this for the, for the volume work for, for Instagram, even, um, this, 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 this steps it up a little bit. Um, I haven't found any tool out there that can do this. And so I'm, I'm really stoked. Um, let's go into another image. Um, let's pull this one up. This is my friend Reagan, who we shot here in Florida and, uh, Let's have some fun with this one. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the preset. Remember earlier I mentioned I shoot direct light. As you can see here, it's direct lit. And so technically the changes should be very similar, right? We didn't do any body morphing or modifications. All we're doing is things like removing straight hairs, um, you know, the skin, uh, and that's about it, right? So let's technically this preset should do a lot of that. Let's, let's zoom in here just to see what this looks like before. And, and let's just make sure we reset all the effects. Here we go. Okay, so now this is fine. All right, so this is how it was shot. And let's zoom in. Again, I mentioned I shoot a little bit underexposed. And now I'm gonna apply my preset. And boom, there it is. I mean, what else is there to do here? But let's have a little bit more fun. So one of the things I'm looking at here is the white balance is a little off. Let's make this just a tad bit warmer. Let's come back here. Okay, and now it applies all the settings. Um, and of course, you know, you can always add maybe a little bit more saturation. Where is saturation? We'll come back here. A little bit more saturation. And let's go back here. And I mean, this image is good to go. Um, one of the things I like to do, guys, I, I, just a quick pro tip. I like to look at my images small um before i finish them and the reason why is because this is primarily how people are looking at your images believe it or not if you're shooting and your images are going on instagram this is how they're going to look and so sometimes we get into the trenches of skin retouching and quite frankly no one can see that stuff so um i'm just gonna i, I like to make this smaller just to see what it looks like uh, another thing that you can do is kind of like just squint your eyes a little bit and then you can start to see like, you know, shadow and highlight imperfections. But again, this AI tool is doing great. So there's nothing else for me to fix here. Let's uh, let's see what else I can do, though. Let's look into full body reshape. So, for example, things like neck length. Let's look at the neck. I'm going to go really hard on it. So about 100 percent. And then I'm going to dial it back down. I mean, that's pretty pretty amazing and so let's look how good of a job is doing if you see here this is the actual string of the suit of her top where she may have tied it right and um that usually can easily be removed in photoshop but look what's happening with the neckline when i'm doing this look it's keeping the string i mean it's not making it look weird it's just adjusting the image to my change without affecting other pieces of the image and that's great let's go into here let's look at waist so for the waist if you just kind of want to bring that in a little bit you certainly can let's look at hips so for hips i assume it's gonna make expand a little bit and then make it if you look here on this area i mean that's pretty impressive but more importantly Let's look at this here because in Photoshop, you can definitely do this and you know, you have to be careful of things like maybe these palm trees and these direct lines, but look what Evato is doing. Uh, not here. It's on the hips. It's, I mean, it's, it's keeping that line pretty doggone straight. And obviously, you know, you've seen it, so you'll be able to, you'll know, but they're not going to know. <laughs> um let's look at what else it can do let's have fun let's look at leg width so if we want to make the legs a little thinner and then if we want to stretch the legs let's go really crazy on this obviously this is not normal but you know you could probably give her a little bit of height there and look at this image let's talk about what we did here right i created a preset from another image completely different day completely different model based on my lighting conditions and I brought it here and then I made a micro adjustments based on what I wanted to change in this image. And then look before and after before and after. Okay. This is mind blowing because for pennies on the dollar, <laughs> I'm able to do this and I'm able to turn these images around really fast and just move on to the next shoot. Now, this is all outdoors and it's fun but what about 
indoors. Uh, what about flash photography, right? How would this tool behave? And so just recently I took some headshots and um, I, the way I like my headshots is very flat lighting. So I'll put two lights right in front of her. You can actually see the lights on the left and the right. I use the pro photo strips for this. Uh, you can actually see the pattern on her eyes on the catch light. But this is a, a, a photo that here, I'll just reset everything here. The goal of this uh, headshot is for us to retouch it, do everything here in Avado without the need of going to Photoshop. And that's the goal. So let's go through it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the presets because I love Avado's presets. And so I'm going to do my favorite, which is high end. Okay. Boom. Perfect. So, uh, one of the things it's did, it's actually brought it up a little bit. I'm going to step this down just a bit. Okay. And I'm going to come back here and let's look at what it's doing to the skin before and after. Okay. So you start to see the little wrinkles, the shadows here, the shadows here, this dark, this area here is making it a little bit lighter. So it just doesn't stand out that much. And that's great. Uh, we haven't done straight hairs yet. Let's look at the skin. I mean, this is looking great. This is looking amazing. Okay. Um, let's look at straight hairs. Let's go into uh, remove straight hairs and we'll go 100% on this and see what it does. And boom, look, look. Oh my God. Wow. 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 This is just look at this look at this look right above her head i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and just bring this back down look at these hairs here and i mean this i mean can this be done absolutely frequency separation will knock this out but what if you have to do 50 what if you have to do 100 of these how much time is that gonna take you versus you know, this little slider here. And then more importantly, I mentioned about creating presets, right? So now I created all these changes based on this lighting scenario and I can create a preset and replicate it to everyone that had a headshot that day. I mean, think about that. If you had to do this on Photoshop, probably be a couple of hours. Uh, we're here, it's just a couple of minutes. And let's go back to the important thing for pennies on the dollar. I mean, you can't beat that. And so I'm pretty happy with what it's done here with the face and the retouching and the hair. But what about everything else? If we look at the background, the lighting is just inconsistent. There's a little bit of a crease here in the backdrop. And then there's these lights. So one of the cool things that Evado has is background adjustments, specifically a headshot changer. And what does this mean? Well, what it means is that with one click, and I'll show you guys here what I'm talking about, with one click, Evaro's completely taken out all of the lights and it's made the background a nice, even, consistent color. So think about this if you're shooting multiple people in a headshot session and you have to change this background and, uh, you know, maybe you messed up, right? I mean, what does that mean to you in terms of time uh, for getting rid of that versus what I just did here? And what if the client comes back and says, I want that perfect white, you know, let's, let's, let's say I shot it like this. Normally if the client says, I want a perfect white, then um, I would have to put a strobe on that white backdrop and light it. Right. But in this case, it's a two light setup. And what if the client says, I want a perfect white? Well, Evado has a perfect white setting here. And I mean, this is great. It got rid of the lights. The white is all, is consistent. It's nice and flat. But here's the other thing. More importantly, it's giving me options. So I can actually give this client variations of these backdrops Let's say I want to do it in blue, 
you know i want to do it in blue with a halo um i want to do it with a hint of green uh which is here this fabric i mean this this stuff starts to look a little fake but look at this brown one click right um i love this gray i think gray helps skin tones a lot and i ultimately this is the color that the client uh, ended up going with but now i can take you know 75 headshots and they're all going to have this consistent look because i would take this image create a preset and then apply it to all of the other images and it doesn't matter if it's a male or a female it's going to look at the changes based on my request or my preset and then it's going to apply them there guys when it comes to retouching i think evado is ahead of the game and i highly encourage you guys to take a look at them I'm gonna put a link down below that will give you 30 credits. I encourage you to check it out. If you have any questions in regards to this tool, let me know. Happy to help you guys any which way I can. I am just mind blown by how this works. And I'm really excited for all of the updates that are coming on the pipeline. I can't wait. Um, this is just time saver for me and it gives me an opportunity to focus on what I love doing most, which is shooting and being creative on set as opposed to retouching. Um, not to say that there's anything wrong with retouching. It's just not for me. Um, but uh, if you're like me and you want to be out there shooting more than in front of the computer, check these guys out uh, and use that code down below to get your 30 credits. You know, let me know what you guys come up with. If you want to see my work uh, with Evato, I if you check out my Instagram, I'd say maybe the last two months, uh, all of those images have gone through this tool. So check it out. Uh, guys, that's all I got for today. Again, thanks for subscribing. And if you like these kind of videos, let me know um, because maybe there's other um, brands out there that are that i can partner up with and and just you know show you guys how i'm using them um one of the things i i committed when i started this channel was to implement uh or show you guys kind of the tips and the tricks and the tools that i use uh and this is the start of you know that process so if you guys want to see a lot more of that just let me know comment down below and that's all i got for you guys today until the next one Peace.